Liberal leader Stephen Marshall has been evicted from Parliament on a torrid day that saw tensions boil over on both sides. Ironically, it came as the major parties joined forces to condemn continuing uncertainty over the federal government's pledged submarine contract. In search of defence contracts, the Premier went on the attack. What sort of self-respecting government would not back its own citizens to have the skills and capabilities to make things? The opposition supporting a Labor motion demanding the federal government keep its promise to build 12 new submarines in Adelaide. Some would say that it's uh, you know, a cynical exercise. Some would say it's politically motivated, but not me. But that wasn't enough for a one-time colleague. You're not advocating with us. Minister. You're not fighting the fight. You're saying yeah. the words yeah. and not taking the action. All too much for one observer. You guys are crazy. Minister. You're lale, you're lale, you're lale. But politically, the timing of the debate could play well for Labor. The party's convinced the subs contract is a hot topic for voters in the key southern suburb seat of Fisher ahead of Saturday's by-election. Independent candidate Dan Woodyatt's in the opposition's sights. He's complained to the Electoral Commission about this Liberal pamphlet. It would be foolish for any of the major parties to assume that an independent candidate doesn't have a chance of winning on Saturday. The strain telling in question time. The leader can leave the chamber for three quarters of an hour. This is an absolute... The, the leader is named. It's fast. The leader, the leader is named. Tom Richardson, 9 News.